decision making environment so how do you make decision which kind of environment are you in when you are making decision in other words are there information or there is no information why are you making decision which you are making which environment is suitable for your decision making so in the decision making we have the following certainty meaning the application so we look at the meaning then meaning and the application uncertainty environment we look at the meaning then application then finally risk environment meaning and application so these are the environment that we normally make decision either you are making decision under certainty or you are making decision under uncertainty or you are making decision under risk decision making under certainty the decision maker knows the, with certainty the consequences of every alternative or decision choice so already the decision maker has the information of the outcome the consequences that he will face after taking particular decision so the information about the decision is already aware there is awareness in taking a decision such decision For example, the objective of accounting is to provide financial information about economic affair of an entity to interest parties for use in making decision. Suppose that you like soup A better than soup B or soup C and soup B better than soup C. I know most of us will love soup. Yeah? Soup is good and especially when it is cold. Makes you look good. Please make use of soups. So this is a good example of certainty. You have information. A better than soup B or soup C. And soup B better than soup C. Then you should clearly take soup A. Now, why are you taking soup A? There is really no need in this simple example for more formal model. However, we can use this simple example to introduce to us useful formal models. The need for which will be seen later in more complex examples. One way to express the value pattern is as in relation between three soups the relation better than we have a is better than b b is better than c and a is better than c that is why let's think from this perspective we have good better and best all these soups are good but from our information B and A is better now since B and A is better our interest is akin to go for the best so between B and A one is best and which one is best A so we go for A because A is best A B is better a, B, C is good. Always we go for optimal solution. So from this example, our optimal solution, which satisfies our need on the basis of certainty of information, is A. Decision making under uncertainty. The decision maker faces multiple state of nature. But it has no mean to arrive at the probability values to the likelihood or change of chance of accordance of the, this state of nature. 
In business, there are many problems of this nature. So we have different multiple state of nature. The choice of decision largely depends on how the decision maker view the situation. There are several, there are different choices available for decision maker in a certainty situation. So we have alternatives, we have different uncertainties. One, in such circumstances, we have several ways of reaching out to the decision. One is maxima criteria, two is minimax criteria, three is lapses, Laplace criteria, four is a week's, a week's alpha criteria. So these are the criteria which are used in arriving at the best solution as far as uncertainty is concerned. So we need to apply these criteria so that we arrive at the best possible solution. So these are measures that we must take in coming up with the decision. So criteria of decisions. Criteria of decision making under uncertainty. The optimi, optimism, maxima or minima. So optimism is based on maxima or minimi. Minimi two pessimism. Pessimism is based on maximin or minimax. Maximin or minimax. Equal probabilities is la place. La place. Then finally, coefficients of optimism is done or dealt by weeks. So these are the criteria of decisions in simplified manner. Regret is salvage. So we can go now to the practical part of it, maxima criteria. What do you mean by maxima criteria? The abbreviation of the phrase maximum of the maxima. Maximum of the maximum. Choose the alternative with the best possible payoff. So our interest is to choose the alternative with the best payoff. Locate the maximum or the minimum payoff values corresponding to each alternative. Now, for example, suppose for each act, there are three possible payoff corresponding to three state of nature as given in the following decision matrix. A1, A2, and A3. E1 to 20, 180, and 100. Even 2, 160, 190, and 180. Even 3, 140, 170, and 200. Determine the best action in the matrix using maximax. Now, here the first thing we need to do is that give the maximum payoff for each and every strategy or action. So the maximum, look at this, the maximum for A1 is 120. The maximum for strategy or action A2 is 190. The maximum payoff for action three is between 100, 180 and 200, it is 200. So these are the maximum payoff from each and every action. Then the next thing we need to do is that pick the maximum action. So our maximum is 220. So from the alternative actions, we take the maximum. That is why it is called maximum. Maximum, maxima. Number two, minimax criteria. 
the term of the abbreviation of the phrase is minimum of the maximum. Require preparation of the table of laws and not of gain. So here we are preparing the table of laws. In other words, we are identifying the opportunity laws. Choose the alternative with the best of the worst possible payoff. So from the table, you choose the worst from the the best from the worst of the possible payoff. Locate the minimum payoff values corresponding to each alternatives. Now we can take an example again. Maximum criteria. Suppose for each act, there are three possible payoff corresponding to three state of nature as given in the following decision matrix. So we are taking the same example. So these are the values that we have been given. Determine the best action in the matrix under minimax criteria. So number one, we create losses, opportunity losses. How do you do that? You do the opposite. Pick the highest here and then subtract. 220 minus 220 is 0. 220 minus 180 is 20. Is 40. 220 minus 100 is 120. Come to it. Event 2, pick the highest is 190, 190 minus 190, 0, 190 minus 180, 10, 190 minus 160, 30. Event 2, event 3, the highest is 200, so 200 minus 200 is 0, 200 minus 170 is 30, 200 minus 140 is 60. Now this is what you call a regret table. Out of this regret table, determine the maximum loss from each decision. So we are actually determining the maximum loss from each decision. So the maximum loss for action 1 is 60. The maximum loss for action 2 is 40. The maximum loss for action 3 is 120. So that one gives us now the values. A1 Action 1 is 60, action 2 is 40, action 3 is 120. Then finally, maxi max is 40. Take the minimum of the maximum, which is 40. So this is our best solution for minimax criteria. Thank you so much.